what I started off by saying to the team was, if there's not a bigger reason than just you, or if, there's, or if you're not chasing something bigger than just you, it's gonna be really easy to quit when times get tough. Because there's gonna be times when it's challenging in this business. There's gonna be times when you don't feel like showing up, so what's gonna be that thing that's above you that's saying, hey, keep going. Yeah. Keep showing up, you know, pick yourself up, keep going. All right, what's up guys? I'm here today with my business partner, Jason. What I wanted to talk about today was we had a team meeting today yeah. and we did our uh, exercise of how to discover your why, right? And we were inspired to talk about that today because our Zillow growth advisor, Andrew, last week did a meeting with our team and he said that the agents that he sees that are killing it the most, selling the most homes, they have a really, really strong why. Yeah. Right. So then we took this back to our team and said, hey, we're going to do an exercise to really discover our why. So I wanted to bring you on. Yeah. And I think for the people watching it, this, this may be valuable, but I want to talk about why it's important to know what your why is. Yeah. And then maybe for people that struggle knowing what their why is, maybe what are some of the questions that we can ask ourselves? Give some perspective on how to discover your why. So, yeah, no, I, I think, you know, Enrique, you know, it's we've been training and been getting coaching and it's a common theme, right? Yeah. It's very common for them to always start off what, what I mean them the coaches and mentors to always start with that question you know what is your why yeah and I think it's used quite often and for me it, it was a difficult question to really unpack yeah right and I think today you did a great job with the list of questions that you laid out mm -hmm. because it made it simple to kind of dive deep into figuring out what your why what your why is yeah right and I think you know you and I had a, had a private conversation and for us, what we've realized is that your why can change throughout the process, yeah. right? And, and let's talk about what, what is a why, right? Like when we yeah, say, what's yeah. your why, what, is, what does that mean, right? Yeah. What does that mean? What, what does it mean to you? I mean, for me, it is, you know, you know why, why, are, why are we doing what we're doing? Well, what, yeah. what, what is the reasons behind it? What is the driving force behind it? Yeah. Right? I think it's important to understand it, but again, I think a lot of times people... They, they're just going through their day and just doing it or doing whatever they're doing, but they're not really understanding why they're doing it. Yeah. What's what's making them go out there and and show up and especially in our business, right? With being an entrepreneur, self-employed, what's that driving force that wakes you up every morning mm -hmm. to go out there and put yourself in a really tough industry where you got to sell yourself constantly. Yeah. There's tons of rejection. And what I told what I started off by saying to the team was if there's not a bigger reason than just you or if, there's, or if you're not chasing something bigger than just you, it's gonna be really easy to quit when times get tough. Definitely. Right? Which is, is kind of something that we really wanna think about. And anybody, anybody listening today, you gotta think about that, right? Because there's gonna be times when it's challenging in this business. There's gonna be times when you don't feel like showing up. So what's gonna be that, that force, right? That, that thing that's above you that's saying, hey, keep going. Yeah. Keep showing up, you know, pick yourself up, keep going. Right? Yeah. No, I, and I think it's, you know, it was great because after we asked that question, you can go, we went around the room and people had, you know, very similar but different whys. Yeah. And one, one of our agents, you know, was saying, hey, listen, you know, and we kind of reframed it for her, but her why was herself. Yeah. Right. And even even when I was younger growing up, my why was different from what it is now. Yeah. Right. When I was growing up, my why was to be successful, whatever they may, that may look like. But then later it changed for me was, you know, I want to be a role model for my kids or I want my why is going to be, you know, I want to be able to leave something for my family, leave something for my kids. Yeah. And then it changed once we became actual team leaders and team owners and managers, our why changed or mine changed again from now I want to be able to to help other people within the industry, within the business, within our team, Yeah. right? And I think it's important that to understand that it's okay if, if your why changes, because I think that's part of the process, yeah. right? It, it's not a destination, they say, it's gonna be the journey, and that journey is gonna take you to different places where your why may need to be adjusted, or you adjust your why. Yeah, and I, I shared that too with, with the team today, that my why has changed over time. When I first got in the industry, I was in my early 20s, and it was really about being a role model and being someone that my younger brothers could depend on, right? Because I, I had to step in and help my younger brothers and be there for them. And so that was the driving force, right? It's like, I can't mess up, right? I can't fail because- You are the safety net. I'm the safety net yeah. for these guys, right? Like they come to me when they need help, when they need yeah. advice. Like I need to you know, do this for them. 
and you know, yeah, it was for me too, but knowing that in the back of my mind, like they were counting on me yeah. is what helped me continue to show up all the time, even when it was tough, right? Yeah, and, and you know, Rick, I know you well, and I think, I think maybe, again, for me, I think you've always showed up. You, you got into the business when you were 20 years old, yeah. right? So we kind of talked about this, but you have, you've had a consistent pattern of having success, whether it was in school, whether it is with your business now, and I think at some point, you know, I think maybe when you're in your early 20s, just talking yeah. with you, your why was your brothers. Yeah. But I, I'm, I would want to understand is what was your why before that? What was the driving force in the young Enrique? Yeah. Right. That's what was interesting. That? I've thought about that at times. And I think, you know, I grew up you know, and not the best, with not the best childhood, with adversity. My parents split up early. You know, my mom had a lot of struggles. My dad, you know, it was back and forth. And I, then yeah. I moved with my dad. And I think part of it was I saw the struggles that my parents went through. And that was a, a motivating factor to not make a lot of the same mistakes that they yeah, repeat made. that. Right. Repeat that, you know. And um, it was, so I had kind of the yin and the yang where I, I had, you know, I saw some bad stuff happen. And then I also saw some good examples, you yeah. know, like through my dad and the work ethic and stuff like that, of course. which, you know, helped provide some stability. And somehow or another, like I, I just continued to push forward and excel in school and, you know, eventually, you know, figured out what I wanted to do for yeah. a career. Yeah, no, it's awesome because I think, you know, a lot of times you know, life's going to happen. Right? Yeah. Things are going to happen. And, and we get to choose how we're going to look at these things. Yeah. And, you know, uh, you know, you and I, we've been working together for the last 18 years. And I think we have that same mindset yeah. of like, yeah, we're going to hit adversity. Yeah, things are not going to go that, you know, the right way all the time. Mm -hmm. But how are, are we going to learn from it or are we going to be like a victim of it? Yeah. And I think that is a true pattern of who we are for, you know, we're very fortunate, very blessed somehow, some way where we've been brought up that way. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, again, we have similar backgrounds. You know, we didn't grow up in the perfect, perfect childhood. Right. Which, again, I wouldn't trade in my childhood for anything with the good and the bad. Oh, yeah. Right? I learned, and, learned a lot from it. <laughs> learned yeah. a lot. And it made us the person we are. Yeah. And, and it gave us skills to go ahead and one for us to have certain levels of success and then also help other people have success. Yeah. Right. And without those those trials, right, without those those things happening, we wouldn't be able to have these experiences that we can share and inspire others. Yeah, absolutely, man. And, and looking back, like it was for my brothers for one time. And then once I had my own kids, then now it's like about them, right? Yeah, now it's about my kids and being a good example and being a good dad. And then, you know, still, you know, being there for my, my brothers and my siblings in a different way, because they're growing up now, but being, you know, more of a mentor and a role model to them as they get older. Yep. You know, I, I had a, it's funny, I had a talk with my younger brother last Sorry. week, my younger brother, Julian, and, you know, I, I had a talk with him about drinking, right? Because he's 20, he's about to be 21, and he's about that age where, you know, you start experimenting yeah. and partying and stuff, and we had a long talk, and I was just sharing some of my mistakes, you know, like, hey, you know, don't do the stupid stuff that I did, or don't make these mistakes, but I realize now, even by just sharing this, like, that is part of my why, right? It is. That is what, what makes me stick to, you know, an overall good path. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, no one's yeah. perfect, but, you know, and then with the team too, like we have so many intimate conversations with our team members yeah. and colleagues and other people in the industry where we now get to give back to those people. We do. Right? We do. And, and, I, and I think of it from also a point of view that we also get to learn from them as well. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, it's, it's for us being, you know, the team leader. We're very fortunate to have, you know, a handful or, you know, so many agents that we get to learn from, we get to coach, we get to mentor. And again, it's, you know, going back to the why, a lot of times you know, what we talked about is, you know, sometimes you may quit on yourself, but you won't quit on your team. You won't quit on your kids. You won't quit on our, our team that we have here, right? Yeah. You may not want to wake up and do your Tuesday meeting, <laughs> yeah. but you know you have 40 people waiting for you to oh, yeah. and bring it. Right. And that's the inspiring part. That's the why. Oh, yeah. There's been many times when I didn't feel like showing up, you know, I not feeling well or have personal stuff going on or didn't sleep right that night or whatever. But I know like these guys are counting on me. Right. And that's part of the big why. And I and I think what I'm realizing is that you have to put yourself in certain situations that are going to force you to be your best. Yeah. Would you agree? Oh, 100 percent. Right? 100 percent. You know, like it's 
part of us building a team, it's not because we have to build a team. No. Like we can do this on our own. Of course. But I think having a team and having people that count on us forces us to step up. Yeah. Right? It does. It definitely does. I mean, it, you know, look at us. We got we've gotten coaching, which the coaching we received in our real estate, in our business, we apply it to our family life. Yeah. Right? We apply it when we're talking with our friends. Yeah. Right? So all these it all lines up eventually. Yeah. Right. All this all these things that we're going through, we can take from it and utilize in different parts of our of our business and in our life, which again, you know, we, we've hit some adversity through our business. Yeah. But then again, we've came out of it stronger, better, able able to mentor and give back with it. Yeah. So the last part of this yeah. is what are some questions that one can ask themselves, right? Like maybe we could talk about some of the questions we shared earlier. Yeah. But if someone out there is watching and they're like I'm trying to figure out my why. Maybe things have changed. Maybe they're just, it's self-discovery. Maybe they're in a transition phase. What are some questions that they can ask themselves so that they can get more clarity? Yeah, you know, I'll kind of let you, you touch on the questions. I think the first part is being vulnerable and just having the mindset that you really want to understand your why. I think that is, you have to be honest with yourself and say, you know, I truly want to understand my why. I'm going to take time to figure it out and then ask some of the questions that we laid out, you know, earlier today. Yeah. Right. And I think that is, that was the biggest hurdle, you know, cause even looking in, in, in the audience when we had 35, 40 agents today, I had some people be like, eh, well, they, they didn't really want to put the time and energy into it. Yeah. But you know, you, you've said it before, those things that you run, you know, you're running away from is the ones you should embrace. Yeah. Right. Meaning that if you're not trying to figure out your why, you should probably go in and figure it out because it's gonna put you to the next yeah. level. And there's probably a reason why you're running from that, there you right? Go. And, right? And and I think it it's uncomfortable, right? To be vulnerable and, and talk about things that are sensitive or that are touchy subjects or whatever it might be. But I know that every time you do that, afterwards you gain clarity. And even if it's tough, you feel better after, right? Whatever, yeah. You feel yeah. better and like the light bulb goes off and you're like, man, it's just, it, it makes my path so much more clear or, or it tells me a lot more about myself. So some of the questions that we wrote down was like, what wakes you up in the morning, right? Like what is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning or what gets you out of bed? What is that motivation that gets you out of bed? Like, right, why not just continue to hit snooze? I yeah. hit snooze a couple of times, right? <laughs> You know, why after the second snooze, what actually eventually gets me to wake up, yeah. right? And I think that's a question you have to ask yourself. What what wakes you up? What do you feel good about waking up? And we talked about it. I mean, I gave yeah. you a quick, I mean, I'll give you a quick example. For me, it was, I get excited to come into the office, right? Yeah. I, I get excited to be able to go to the gym. I get excited to go ahead and have the talks that you and I have in the office, yeah. right? Those, those things really excite me in the sense of why I want to wake up, why I want to be in the office, why I want to spend time with my kids, why I want to train, it's because I really enjoy it, yep. right? And, and again, it's for me, you know, I don't, I don't hit snooze. <laughs> We've talked about this before, but it's to me, it's, it's, it's just, I enjoy the process. I enjoy being here. So why not get up and do it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. And then, I mean, those other questions the, that you had. The other one that stood out was what does success look like to you? Right. Yeah. Success in your life, success in business. What does that look like to you? Right. Take some time to write that down. Yeah. Map it out. Right. And think about things that are other than just money. Right. Because yeah, obviously in every business you're trying to make money. Right. Especially in real estate sales. But what is the money going to allow you to do? Right. Mm -hmm. Does that change your life? Does that change, you know, things for other people? Right. Who are the people that are counting on you? Right? Are there people that are counting on you? Is it just you for you, or is your your parents, your family. siblings, your kids, your family, your your colleagues? Like, are there people out there who are counting on you? Right? Those are some of the things. What was the other one? When something great happens in your business or in your life, who is that first person who you want to, you share want to call with? that you want to share with, or who yeah. are those people? Who do you right? want to share your wins with? Who do you want to share your wins with, or when you, your losses yeah. too? Right? Like when some shit hits the fan, and like who are you going to go call? because you want to share that yeah. with them and you want to get advice or whatever. Those are often times like asking yourself those questions and really going deep with them and taking them serious, I think can lead it opens you. Up, it opens, up, it opens up the door, it right? It opens up a lot. And, and again, it was proof today what we did, yeah. right? And, and, and we had, you know, some great shares and it, some of those shares, I mean, they literally gave me goosebumps, yeah. right? And people were vulnerable. And it was it was awesome that you took the time to bring that out. Because again, we're always gonna sell real estate, we're always gonna do mortgages, we're gonna do that. But I think again, your why goes back to, you, we want to inspire people. You want to go ahead and unlock some of these potentials from some of our agents.
agents and people on our team and people around you. Yeah. Right? What I think is, is it's huge. Right? Yeah. That's why we're doing this right now. That's why we're doing this right now because it went so good today with the team. I'm like, man, I got to share this with, yeah. with all the other people that you know follow and watch our content. So I think that's it, man. This is a great talk. Thanks for, uh, for yeah. taking the time out for today. Sure, for sure. Uh, take some time out there if you're watching this. Go deep with it. Study your why. And also reevaluate this from time to time. Yes. Because it will change throughout the journey. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree 100%. I think that is something that I recognized today when we really just kind of thought about it, that it's okay if your why changes. Yeah. It's going to change. If, if you're progressing, things in life change. There's times and periods that are going to change. And don't be afraid of it. Yeah, right? embrace don't, it. Yeah, embrace, exactly. Embrace it. All right. There we go, guys. Hope this message was great. Talk to you later.